I used to call them my babies 10 years ago, and they still, when I look at them, my babies. And that's the truth. And you know, I'm not being disrespectful when I say that. It's just the feeling I got with this team. They look pretty, they look good, but they don't look as a winning team. Didn't mince his words, did he? Harsh criticism from Patrice Evra on the Monday Night Football, and Unai Emery responded today saying he has improved this Arsenal team. Paul? Have you seen improvement since he took over? Not really. No, if I'm being honest, no. I, I, I watched the games and you wouldn't know if Arsene Wenger was a manager or, or Emery, in my opinion. It, nothing's changed the way they play. They might just play the same way. That might be the way they're brought they, up. They have got to a final, though. <laughs> yeah, they got to a final of the Europa and then probably one of the worst performances in the history of Arsenal in the final. <laughs> I mean, it was atrocious. Uh, I wasn't shocked on Monday night. Don't get me wrong. I mean, Liverpool literally, they, they went there and won one nil with what I would call an own goal. The goalie, I would give that as an own goal from the goalie. So this is a good Sheffield United team. I think we were a bit disrespectful. The mm -hmm. problem was, is this is not Sheffield United of 10, 15 years ago on a Monday night where you're going there and you're thinking, they're going to kick us off the park if we don't get right. These, these past Arsenal, these were as good a footballing team as what Arsenal were and that was the problem. Is the criticism over the top, though? Because Pepe takes a chance that nine times out of ten he should score. And also Socrates possibly or probably should have had a penalty. Different yeah, story. I, I mean, we, we could be sitting in here now going, cool, he's getting it together now. I mean, he's got a 72 million player. We've just seen one of the goals of the season, counter-attacking football at the highest level. He gets the ball on the edge of his box, beats three players, they're away, and he taps it in at the other end in, what, nine seconds? And we'd be all going mad. But he never... And that's, they're the thin lines. But, it, it's... but that's, that's, Paul, that's Monday night. If you look at the statistics that compare his games in charge compared to Arsene Wenger's mm. last games in charge, you look at the actual numbers, that perhaps is a more complete picture, Harry. When you look at that, what does that tell you? <laughs> well, stats don't lie. But again, for me, when I, when I watch Arsenal, I think the most frustrating thing is you just don't know what you're going to get. Because one minute you see them and they're like that and you think, yeah, he's, he's cracked it. The next minute you see the inconsistency of, oh, they're back down there. But this, this is, you know, nine games into the second season. Yeah, but still it's... it's, still, it's, it's, it's well, I don't, look, I don't personally think he knows his best team. And we're nine games into his second season and I, I don't think he knows his best team. Where are the doubts? Where are the question marks? I think midfield. I think midfield. I think when you're Arsenal... And Arsenal carry a lot of respect because of how good they are footballing-wise. They still carry a lot of respect. Yes. People might go, oh, they're, they're an easy touch there, this and that. But they can hurt you. Now, most teams will play against Arsenal and go, bang, 10 behind the ball, we'll try and counter-attack Arsenal. If you're going to play that, Arsenal have to have a bit of goal in midfield. They haven't got anybody who's going to put the ball through the eye of a needle. They're all much the same Ceballos? in midfield. But, but he don't play, he didn't play. He didn't play the other night. You know, it was going to be a football game the other night. Full credit to Sheffield United. It wasn't a kicking game. They played as well as what Arsenal did, passing-wise. Mm. So you've got to play him. You know, you can have all these players up front, like Pepe, Lacazette, you know, uh, Aubameyang. Aubameyang. If you're not getting the service, you could be the best player in the world. It's like Messi and Ronaldo. If you don't give them the ball, they can't do anything. And it, it all comes... You're only as good as the people that provide you at times... And they don't get that. And when you've got pace in the team, you need people that are going to find little, little passes. They don't even have to be... They, they've only got to be from me to Harry. But that pass could take out three or four players and then they're away. They haven't got that pass in them. They haven't got that pass. I think it's the forward pass that yeah. we're, we're looking for. I think yeah. you, you look at Arsenal, there's a lot of side passes mm. and a lot of working down the, down the channels, which yeah. a lot of people like to get around the channels because they like the overlapping fullbacks. They like all that stuff. <laughs> but for me... The killer ball is someone that passes through the lines, yeah. through that line, because you can't stop that. Because automatically the, 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 the midfielders are, are turning back and that's half you a mean yard. You somebody with... can see a pass, somebody who's got that guile, somebody well, again, to, to, not won to, a not... World Cup who's a German international who can't even get in the squad. Yeah, so that sort well. of person. Well, again, we, we don't know the, the whole reasoning why he isn't playing. In, well, in he that. doesn't play because he don't run around. He that's well, the problem. We, that's the problem. Not my problem because he plays in my team, because he can play and he, he, he makes things happen. You, you know, and then you get two midfield players around him who are going to run around 
and, and do their job. But that's why he doesn't play. Because he don't run around because he's on 350 a week. And that's the problem. If he was on 10 grand a week, he would play every week, even if he didn't run around. But because he's on 350 a week, that means he has to run around like a maniac. Well, he's not in the, the match day squads because he's not showing in training what Unai Emery wants to see. Yeah, I would, I'd probably do the same. I'd be sitting there thinking, how am I not getting in this team with, with his talent? But is he, then, is, he, is he training hard? I mean, I'm sure he's a, he's a professional player. I'm sure he is. But, you know, maybe he's he just He might be not... getting frustrated now and thinking, he might have gone past that and gone, you know what, if I can't get in this team, what, what am I doing? You know, I, 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 don't, I don't know, but you'd have to weigh up. He played against Watford away. I didn't see what he did wrong. And he ain't been in the team since. Well, I don't think many came out with much credit that day, did they? What well, the I way? thought, uh, you know, but he plays a great ball through for the goal. You yeah. know, he, he's <laughs> guile, his vision. Who else see the pass inside the fullback? He's the one who see the pass, gets put across, tap in, one nil up. Yeah, but you, you're talking about that, that Watford game. I actually thought it was, it's, it's stupid you say, but a game of two halves. Yeah. I thought Arsenal were brilliant first half. Yep. And I thought Watford couldn't have played any worse. And they've just come out and just gone, you know what? We've actually got to go out there and play. And they did that. And Arsenal tried to defend, defend, defend. They tried to get the count and they couldn't get it. Their, their so. final pass was poor. When they counter-attacked, they were giving the ball away cheaply. And that, that's what it was. But you have to have... He gets in my team. He gets in my team, but... But, do you, but you, you, you do have to make big decisions as a manager. Do you have to give the manager credit as well for some of the Arsenal youngsters he's playing? Maybe he's looking to, you know... Sometimes, as we've seen Solskjaer at Manchester United, sometimes you have to take a couple of steps backwards to go forwards. Mm. Yeah, well, of course, you've got to start somewhere. You've got to start somewhere. But the problem is with the Ozil situation, until he's out the club, I don't see how you're going to bring people in. Because if you, if, you go and, if you want to go and sign a top player next summer, you go, right, uh, 350. I can't give you 350. Well, you give Ozil 350. Until that stopped, you know, Ramsey's left the club because Ramsey probably wanted... 250, 300, because he's thinking, well, Ozil's getting that. Why can't I have it? And they've gone, you know, we're not giving you that. And he's like on a free transfer. I think if we go back to the way Arsenal are playing at the moment, and we touched on this just prior to it, I think we both got frustrated, right, that I think Arsenal sometimes are playing too much out from the back, where sometimes the long ball or something like that, and maybe that's where... The manager's saying, you know, constantly, we've got to be playing every, every, every time out from the back. And they're getting caught. Mm. And there's got to be certain times, especially near the end of games, where, well, you know what, like you said, they've got so much pace up top. Sometimes that one ball outplays everybody. Mm. Like, even you look at the best teams, especially in England, like Man City are not afraid to play that long ball sometimes because they've got pace up front. And I think sometimes if you can mix it up, teams then, a bit like Chelsea, we talked mm. about beforehand, where it was always compact. If Arsenal just spread a little bit, a team may think, oh, hang on a second, if we actually just, you know, when we're trying to press them, if we just actually go that little bit more, they have that little bit more into mm. play. It's the most, perhaps the most stinging part of the Evra, Patrice Evra observation is, it, once again, it points to a soft underbelly, a weakness of mentality. I, I find that hard. It's easy to do that when a team have lost and people go, oh, they, they're weak. I, I, don't, I don't buy into that. I, you know, we're, we're working on, you know, if they score the goal and then they go 1-0 up, they're a different team, Arsenal. Everybody wants the ball. They're, you know, popping it around. Yeah, I, I don't... Players don't not want to... I just can't imagine them all shouting at each other in the dressing room. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't say... I'm, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't... I don't like picking teams out when they get beat like that. I didn't... I, 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 I thought we were, everybody was a bit disrespectful to Sheffield United. I thought Sheffield United were good. Fair enough. They're a good team, Sheffield United, and I think we're, everybody else is like, oh, Arsenal should go there and win four. I thought if Arsenal draw there, I thought that would have been a great result, in my opinion. It's not... Times have changed. This is not Arsenal of 10 years ago, 12 years ago. You said Chelsea will finish top four. Yeah. Arsenal, where are they finishing? They'll be around there. They'll be around fifth or sixth. I think they'll, they'll be in the top six. It, there won't be a lot between Tottenham, Chelsea, Arsenal... There won't be a. There won't. I, I would. I'd be shocked if there was six points between them three teams at the end. I, that's how tight I think it might be. I, I really do. I don't think it'll be. I don't think. I think the, the top two will run away with it, and then I think. I think it'll be tight. I really do. I think there'll be ups and downs the whole season. And I think there'll be a couple of other teams that may sneak into yeah. there as well. Just to. I, I, I've, I've been saying Leicester all the time. 
Yeah, he's doing. No, he's, no European football. He's doing yeah, a fantastic he's job. A, he's a great man. Again, great manager. Great manager. Got everybody singing off the same hymn sheet. They all know what they're doing. My biggest thing with Arsenal the other night was, I wonder what this team would be like if Wilder was in charge. Because the Sheffield United team all knew what they were doing. They all knew what they were doing. It just felt to me with the Arsenal team was, I see you at half time and then I'll see you at full time. And it was like, I didn't see a plan. I didn't see anything. When you see Unai Emery speak before and after the game, do you ever think, I get it. I know what he's, what he's driving at. I understand the message. Yeah, but it's not for me to understand, is it? As long as he gets his players understanding, it's not for it's not for us to understand. It's if his players understand, you know, it's no good him doing putting something on and talking, and then me sitting at home going, "Oh, I get that," but Abamyang don't get it. As long as they get it, you know what I mean. That's that's the, that's all he's got to do. But from a distance, I don't get it. I don't. They don't all close down at the same time, you know. Two will go, and then one will drop off, and two will go. You know, Sheffield United, it looked a team. It looked like... A, a, yeah, it looked like this team had been together and they all know what they were doing. They all knew what they were doing. And I just don't get that with Arsenal. You know, and it's very inconsistent with Arsenal. You know, Lacazette, how's, how can we not get Lacazette in the team? How can he not be playing for Arsenal? I don't know. You know what I mean? Aubameyang's a better player when he comes in for me. I don't think he's a back to back to play player Lacazette is Lacazette will bring something to the table if he doesn't score a goal he could go 90 minutes without scoring but you still come off the pitch and go Lacazette had a good game I don't think you'll get that with Aubameyang in my opinion OK another manager facing a real challenge is Sol Campbell who's back in the game who's taken over the reins at South End they shipped seven in midweek so a really really tough job on his hands <laughs> Harry you're looking to get back in at the moment Given where they're sat, is a job like South End still attractive? Given that where, yes, yes it is. Because it's an opportunity to, to get back in and to look at the position of South End, I would, I would look at it and I'm sure Sol's looked at it as well and thought, well, it gives me a chance to really showcase what I'm capable of doing. He did a fantastic job at Macclesfield. Everyone ripped them off before he went in there and he survived. So he's probably giving that confidence in himself that he can do the job again. Don't get me wrong, yes, it's, an, it's another league up. It's a better job than the previous one. It's a better job than the previous one. It's the, do I believe that there's a difference in League 1 and 2? Not really. I think the, 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 the league's quite similar. So he's going to have a, a quick understanding. Obviously, he, he, he saw his team get uh, seven goals yeah, demolished, sure. but he, he had two players sent off. So that doesn't really tell the, the whole picture. And I don't think he was actually in charge. No, he, was no, in he, wasn't, he, he, yeah. he wasn't in charge. But for me, I, I, I think it's a, it's a wonderful opportunity because he's probably gone there. He's probably had a, a word with the owner. He's probably given him the truth about the situation that he's facing. And he's probably sat there and gone, well, there is a chance that we could get relegated. But I'm not going to take this job if you're going to think, well, just because I get relegated, that I'm not, I still want to create something. But I still believe in my confidence that I can get them out of it. So I think he's probably told the owner that there's an op there is a chance that we could go down, but I still want to be able to be yeah. here and create something. Probably, I hope, I hope Sol Campbell doesn't become one of their managers. I will put a fire out. Exactly. Exactly you know what I mean? my thought. That's, like, a, like that's, big, that's the thought I Sam got. Because he never got this job two weeks ago, but he went for it. And then they get beat, you know, and then all of a sudden they're down the bottom now and it's like, wait there a minute, Sol Campbell done a great job at Macclesfield and he did do a great job, don't get me wrong, Miracle. a great job. Miracle. And then you're thinking, let's get Sol Campbell. You hope that they're not, do you know what I mean? Because I think, I, I, thought, I think, but he's got to take a job. Cause I, don't, I, don't, I don't think Sol's looked at it and got, well, he's just put out a fire. Like I said, I actually No, think, I like don't I said, think he has, is, but I think... The, you don't want him I to think, be labelled that. Yeah, I, I, think, I think the owners are looking and going, right... Wait a minute, he's done a great job at Macclesfield. But that's, that, that's no bad thing for Seoul, who it took so long to get in. Yeah. So long to get in. So I thought he would have got a job a lot I, quicker. I, I, well, I thought, look, I thought he, because he was hot. He was hot. What he did at Macclesfield, he left when they won 3 0. I mean, when did Macclesfield ever win 3 0? Do you know what I mean? So he'd, he'd completely turn the corner with him. It wasn't like, look, and then he didn't get one. Don't get me wrong, there's only 90 jobs in the league. 
Mm. And there's probably about 400 managers that want one of these jobs. So the, the, the toughness to actually get in front and to be able to you know, sell yourself and to be able to talk about it, it's tough. So when an opportunity comes up, like, again, would you ask, so would this be his first choice? Probably not. But he's looked at it and gone, well, what else is out there? Mm. And yeah. I well, suppose that's, I, have that's to, I have to take, I have well, to take that Well, the thing is, well, you, you can empathise more than anybody else. You're not in a dissimilar position. When you've been in, when you've managed, you've been Crawley Town, you've been in Notts County as well, uh, you had the job at Watford. Where is the line between keen to come in, keen to find the right job, and also so keen that you take anything? I don't think at a young stage of myself, I've, I've, first and foremost, I've got to believe in what I believe in. And I believe, I believe in myself as, as coaching. And I don't think I can pick and choose, not at the moment, because like I said, even though I had a wonderful time at Crawley and to be able to be bought by Knotts, and then again, the, the dismissal, like I said, I, I still wonder about, but again, that's part and parcel of the job. But you've got to, at the moment I'm looking at it and go, would I love to be able to work with an owner that sees my vision? That sees my, of course I would, but so bear in it's that very mind, hard. Do you, do you think Seoul could have waited and got a better opportunity? Uh, I mean, as Harry said, I, I, there's only, what is there, 92 teams? 92 90. clubs. Yeah. 92 teams 10 years ago, 20, 15, 20 years ago. Now it's worldwide. That's 92 clubs for the whole world. Everybody wants to manage in England. Do you know what I mean? Because you've got that opportunity. You do one good job and you could be in the promised land of the Premier League, which is the ultimate. I think he had to take it because people will soon forget about what he did at Macclesfield because football's very bang, bang, bang. And I think, I hope he does well because I, I've, I've, no disrespect for Southend, I, I thought he was going to get... Better. A decent job. I thought he was going to... I don't want to say decent because Southend are a good team, a good club. But I thought he'd get championship. I thought he'd done enough to get championship. Went into Macclesfield, proved himself, you know, international. He could have easily gone, I'm not going to get my hands dirty here. You know, he's gone... But they were relegated. But, and, he, and he's... But saying that, Port, this is a, a wonderful opportunity for Sol to showcase what he's truly about. Because mm. if he does get them out of this, what does that, what does that do for him? Yeah, the only that thing, really if he puts, doesn't, look, it look, sakes I, look, a ladder, doesn't it? I mean, it could be at 90, he's at 99, he hits the snake and he's back down at one yeah, again. Yeah, but you can't, okay, that, you can't that's not football, take a though. job on that basis, can you? But, that's, but isn't, that, isn't that football, though? I, I, I think so. I'd like to think Sol's quite well off. I think... You, you, it's not about the money. No it's, not, no, it's not about the money, but there's times when you can wait... There's time if you got if you could, you don't if you don't have to work you don't you don't you pick you can pick the right jobs if you want. But you, you just I mean? said you just said uh, and I understand what you're saying there. He doesn't he doesn't need it financially. He's doing it because it's in his yeah it's in his back. thing. So yeah, it's, it's in you his can soul. wait. There's a lot of managers yeah. out there that but have, you have managed. said what he did at uh, Macclesfield will quickly get forgotten. Yeah, that was that probably and his worry. That was his probably his worry. That was probably his worry. And as as Harry said, there's 92 clubs, and that 92 clubs is around the world now. You know, that's not just 92 English managers or British managers. That is world. Everybody, you know, someone from Argentina would come and take a job in, in League One on the strength that if I do well here, I could be manager in the Premier League. And it's the ultimate. It's, if you manage in the Premier League, that's like, that's like an English man being manager of England. I think it's a... I think it's a wonderful opportunity for him to really showcase what he's capable of doing. Mm. And I, I don't think he should be afraid. I think he should just go out there and enjoy it. Like I said, I, I th he's smart enough to know the circumstances of what he's facing, yep. and I'm sure he would have Massive talked about that. Massive learning curve at Mac. Massive learning curve at uh, Macclesfield. And yep. I, so think, I think he should... Look, one thing, it's, it is a great job. It is a great job to be able to go out there and give your ideas to players and they fulfil them and you see it. And like I said, winning is like, you can't it's wait. the best. You can't wait to get back in, can you? Oh, yeah. no, I, I don't absolutely love it. I'm not going to lie.